what's going on everyone I'm back here with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to connect your iPhone personal hotspot via USB to your Mac running OS 10 Yosemite uh, so the process is fairly simple on uh, the iPhone that I'm going to be using for this demonstration is an iPhone 6 Plus running iOS 8.1.1. Now, the process is exactly the same for other versions of iOS 8, uh, 8.0 and up. So, if you're running an iPhone 5S or an iPhone 5 or anything like that, the process uh, is pretty much uh, exactly the same. Uh, as it would be on the iPhone 6, but yeah, just in this case, that's what I'm going to be using. So anyway, the first thing that you're going to need to do uh, on the phone itself, before we actually switch over to the uh, Mac, is you need to jump over into settings and turn on the personal hotspot feature. Now, you do not have to turn off Wi-Fi. Uh, you can leave Wi-Fi turned on if you're going to be doing this, uh, but I would recommend turning both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth off uh, just to make sure that uh, both of those do not interfere with the USB connection. So uh, since we are going to be doing this via USB, I would certainly recommend turning off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth uh, before proceeding. Like I said, to um, make sure there's no interruptions or issues. So that is basically all you got to do on the phone itself. Now we need to switch over to the Mac running OS 10 Yosemite and uh, continue these steps on there. So I will see you guys on a screen recording in just a second. All right. Uh, now that we are on the Mac, uh, what you guys need to do now from here is head on over to System Preferences. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, click on the Network. Uh, the network icon and from here this is where you adjust all of the uh, network settings for your Mac uh, so before we start um, uh, adjusting the settings in here uh, what you first need to do is turn off Wi-Fi so you can either turn it off straight from this menu by hitting turn off Wi-Fi or you can go up to the status bar and turn it off there it uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, so anyway, once you've turned off Wi-Fi, uh, you then need to plug in your iPhone. Uh, make sure personal hotspot is turned on like we did in the beginning of the video. Uh, and plug it in. So I'm going to plug in my iPhone now. Alright, so we plugged it in. And now, once you've plugged in the phone, iPhoto is trying to open here. So let me go and close that. Okay, so anyway, once you've plugged it in, you need to go down here and click this little plus icon, and that allows you to create a new uh, network connection. So let's go ahead and click on that. And from the interface section, from this drop down menu, you want to select iPhone USB. Uh, this is the section or the option that will allow you to use the USB personal hotspot function. So let's go ahead and click on that. Now you can name it whatever you want. Uh, I'm just going to leave it iPhone USB, but you can name it anything you would like uh, to personalize it. So anyway, once you've done that and named it, uh, go ahead and hit the Create button. And as you can see now, the iPhone USB connection has been added to one of the connection options. And right now it is not connected because we have not hit Apply. So once you hit apply, the connection to the iPhone should be immediately established. So go ahead and hit, uh, uh, click on apply. And we should get connected here. There we are. So now we are connected via USB to the personal hotspot connection on the iPhone. And then it shows your information over here. It says status, whether or not you're connected or disconnected, uh, or anything like that. Now... If you happen to get an error, um, whether the little green light or green icon here, as you can see, this means it's connected, of course. Now, if it's red, it's not connected. But if you happen to get a yellow uh, little dot, uh, that means there is an issue with the IP address and or internet connection. So, 
if you happen to get that, what you'll need to do is basically uh, restart this entire video and start over again uh, from the beginning. And that should hopefully uh, correct the issue. Uh, and if you do get that, before restarting from the beginning, you would want to make sure to hit this uh, minus button to delete the iPhone USB connection. And then go through the steps again and re-add it. Like so, hit you iPhone USB, rename it, hit create, hit apply. And then you should be back right here connected again with a green dot. Hopefully, if you did it all correctly. So, yes, uh, that's basically how you connect your iPhone running iOS 8 uh, via USB with the personal hotspot feature uh, to your Mac. Um, now the process uh, is pretty much the same for OS X Mavericks as well. Um, there's a couple slight differences. Uh, it's not anything major that really needs to be that I need to go into depth with, but how you uh, connect the iPhone personal hotspot to USB to your Mac. So let's go ahead and do a quick test. I'm going to jump into the internet browser here and load up a web page and see if it is truly connected. So let's go ahead and go to, let's say, let's go to YouTube. And there you go. It is loading up the web page fairly fast uh, because the iPhone 6 Plus uh, is running on LTE networks. Now, if you happen to be using an iPhone 4S for this, uh, of course you're going to be running on 3G, which is going to be slightly slower. Uh, but yeah, it shouldn't be too, too bad because you're going to be using it through the USB connection. But anyway, there you go. Uh, we're all connected, and we can now watch YouTube videos and uh, surf the internet, just like you would if you're connected to your home Wi-Fi or anything like that. So we have successfully connected it. And if you guys have any issues or any problems or need help, uh, put those in the comment section below, and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. Uh, so, yeah, with all that being said, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the like button. It helps out my channel quite a lot. And, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this video and thought it was helpful. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.